day two in Edinburgh. We're up, out early, well, early for us, quarter past 10, and we're just gonna take a little walk into the town, and I think we're gonna go to somewhere called the Caffeine Drip for breakfast, because I've heard that they do vegan French toast, which is my favorite, and I think they also do like vegan, create your own cooked breakfast, so let's go. things from the sides menu you could have had like tofu scramble but I didn't really want that. I just wanted to try like the vegan haggis and it's absolutely unreal. It's like oh, it's nothing I've ever had before it's just like risotto it's so good at breakfast. I said it was like spelt didn't they and like lentils. Yeah it's like loads of seeds in it and stuff like that it's just so good. So if you ever find yourself in Edinburgh I would definitely recommend going to the caffeine drip. It was a really cool vibe in there as well it was like really rustic and they had like all coffee sacks against the wall and I really liked it. I would definitely recommend going in there and the vegan cake selection was amazing. Anyway, we're at the top and there's actually a really good view up here as well.
So we've just come out of Camera Obscura. What did you think? It's crazy. That tunnel <laughs> thing was just nuts. It made me fall over nearly. I feel like I've spent the whole time in there feeling dizzy and weird. Yeah, it does make you feel a bit fun. Doesn't it? Yeah, it was it was good fun though. We've got some good pictures. Mm. So we're just having a walk about the Royal Mile now and I think we're going to get something to eat in a bit. So we found our lunch spot. We've come to Paradise Palms, which I've heard does really good vegan junk food, which is what we need right now. <laughs> we're so tired. I've gone for a pina colada and it is amazing. I've had to put the light on because it's so dark in here. So our food arrives, we've got vegan nachos with guacamole and mixed beans and some jalapenos. And we've got a vegan hot dog and fries and onion rings. It looks so good. Just come out of Paradise Palms and it was amazing. It's really good. It was so cool in there. Like we were saying, if we wasn't veggie and vegan, I don't think we'd go to such quirky cool places. We'd probably just go to like standard places, you know, nothing special. But yeah, that was really cool in there. It was just full of like fairy lights and palm trees and it was like a mix of Christmas and the Caribbean, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. The hot dog was good, the fries were really good. Your nachos Eventually were nachos, good. nachos, yeah, it's really good. My pina colada was spot on and it was definitely the little pit stop we needed. Onwards. So I think it's about half past three now, perhaps nearly four o'clock, and we've been out since about 10, so our legs and backs are really hurting <laughs> from all the walking and it's been a lot of like uphill walking as well but it's been really good um need another spa now right? yeah we just feel like we need a massage or a spa i was going to get a massage at the hotel but like the cheapest one's 85 quid and i'm not really sure if i want to stretch to that for a massage but yeah we're just going to walk back to the hotel now via some shops and like a different area that we've not been to yet it's be good the lady at Camera Obscura said about coming into this church and graveyard gardens. Sounds a bit morbid, but she said it's really pretty and I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, but she said there's some Harry Potter tombstones, headstone things here, um, which I'm not gonna look for, but they are here. I think it's called Greyfriars Church and Cemetery. So we're gonna have a little look around here now. We don't often walk through graveyards, to be honest. And I can see it's, you know, very, pretty. It's a bit creepy though. I can't even remember what the Harry Potter name she said that we're here. I'm not even going to try. So two shops have just caught my eye. The Christmas shop and the Mutt's Nuts which I'm hoping is like a dog shop. I don't think it is. I think it's just... If it's a nut shop I'm going to be upset. Trash. Okay, I thought that shop was going to be like a dog shop, but it wasn't at all. It was just like a joke slash present shop. But we got some Christmas decorations. The shops, it's just so pretty. Mm. We've just found the street art. It's kind of like in this container. And then you look through the hole. It's like a strange scene going on in there. We've just got back to the room. 
We are so tired. It's only like five o'clock, I think. It's just so much walking and yeah, it just takes it out of you, I think. Not sure what we're gonna do tonight. Feeling pretty tired. We might get a delivery to the room, depending on what they have on there. Might have a bath, might go for a swim. Just gonna play it by ear, really. And he's just made a cup of tea and we're gonna have our tiffin from the caffeine drip. Is that what it's called? Drip? <laughs> caffeine dip? Yeah, caffeine drip. <laughs> Not dip. Uh, we're going to have our vegan chocolate tip in from the caffeine drip. Time to test out the bath this evening and we're using up our pumpkin bath bomb. Bath's ready, looks and smells really good. This is going to be the end of the vlog now because we're just going to chill out and relax and we'll see you tomorrow.